Good morning from Australia on a beautiful Sunday morning. It's uh, still very windy here in Australia. We've had kind of winds for three months on Queensland anyway, which hasn't helped the fire situation as you've probably all been hearing on the news, but it keeps the temperature down. Uh, well, it make, makes it feel nicer to cope with. Okay, let's get into it. These are my um, little words of just kiss and roll with it. Um, one of my favourite things. And then one of my other favourite things that I like looking at every day when I wake up is focus on the good and live in the moment. So that's, they're my mantras. Um, and lots of people out there want to burst your bubble or, you know, ruin your day. Just focus on what you want and believe is right and all will be good <laughs> so there's my little rant or so not a rant but my little um life lesson okay this canvas is 400 so it's 19 oh god i hate that take get me faithful old tape that's falling apart so inches, it's 16 inches, which is uh, 40 centimetres by 30 centimetres, which is 30, in, no, 30 centimetres, which is 12 inches. So for people that ask me, I'm trying to do Miss Molly. Okay, got things flying all over the place here. Um, I'm going to everybody's I, I did a video on the boom gel stains um, and the feedback was to get the bloom technique with a no fuss way because everything's they're already made up ready to pour um, and they sell the company sell a little cell activator to put in your um, I think it's like the top the top coat or the the final bit that you put on top to blow it out it activates the cells but people were saying that oh the same with the bloom technique it's only really for small canvases to earn tiles and the such so i'm just i haven't given this a go on a bigger canvas i've only tried them on the small ones which you've seen my results from previous video so i'm going to try them just i'm going to get bigger each time I'm going to tr maybe I'll try a few different things on it. I wanted to try, um, I'll just go with it and I'll explain it as I go along rather than do that. Okay, so they're the boom gel stains. I have had a few feedback. Um, there is somebody in America now that is the supplier for this company, um, and I think that somebody maybe put it or maybe will put it on my comments underneath because i haven't got the link but in australia you can get this off my online supplier sell this a few comments i got that 20 dollars a bottle australian is quite steep but you only use i mean these will last absolutely ages because you do only use a tiny bit of paint now, I'm not being paid commissions uh, for these paints by the company or anything. They have sent me them to try. They sent me some smaller bottles as well to try. And I will give my honest opinion. So, And then I'll leave you know, the decisions up to you guys whether you want to try them as your easy bloom technique without buying all the different things that seem to... Um, you know some people get failures some people get successes but this is supposed to be a fail safe okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my uh, Montmark studio acrylic that I've just mixed with my glue all actually and I'm gonna use that as my base coat um, I think they do advise you just use their paint as your base coat but because I'm doing it on a bigger canvas I would use all of that for this size canvas and I don't want to do that because like I said I just want to try and do the most economic way for you guys. 
Okay, so I've done my thing and I've taped the back of my canvas um, and I've got my push pins on the bottom. They come in a pack of 10. Um, they're all in the link below on the uh, family run online um, online art website. Uh, and a couple of things they did tell me to recent, uh, this week is they're going to get the clock mechanisms. Well, they have got the clock mechanisms. They've loaded them on site. So uh, if you're requiring the mechanism for your clock, and I think they're under like $13 or something. So the clock mechanisms and the numbers to go. So this one I've been meaning to do for ages. So I'm going to get me drilly thing and uh, put my clock mechanism on this uh, after I've given it a coat of... Uh, I'm going to use the liquid glass. I, keep... I haven't used resin before, but it's a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm going to try it on my clock. So They're just all the exciting products that have come out recently that I'm just like, ah, oh, so excited about. And then all these great shapes, which... Um, the online Capriole Shabby Chic sent me. Um, they were selling all these, um, I, I suppose they're MDF kind of figures that they sell. So I am happily stocking up on these because I've got six children here for a week over Christmas. And I am going to bring them into the art room. I'm going to put their little aprons on. I'm not going to have any heat. I'm not going to have any heat guns around or anything as such. And we're going to um, have fun with these shapes in the holidays. With these children I have, my brothers, um, my nephews and nieces. So I'm looking forward to that. And I, with permission of their parents, I will see if they'll let me video them having fun with me. So that's another great thing that's been loaded onto Diane and Anthony's website. So those are great for the Christmas break to do some um, things with the children. I've got all my Christmas presents sorted because, you know what, I'm going to gift these little pack sets and canvas to... Um, I've got a few elderly people I'm going to gift them to that said, oh, I'd just love to do that. I'd love it. So. I'm going to gift it and I'm going to set a, a day aside for my elderly friends and I'm going to have a paint day with them. If they'll let me film it, I will. If they're too shy, I won't. Um, so those are also new, not well, they're not new, but the packs, you know, you buy the packs and they're reasonably priced and they go a long way and they are the Montmartre pouring paints. Okay, I better get to this, hey, and rabbling on. I've got my Baraka because for whatever reason, I'm feeling really tired. Don't know, it must be my age, might be my hormones, but I thought I better get on the Baraka. So I've got my Baraka to see. Mm -mm. That would taste so much nicer with vodka. But anyway, tally-ho, here we go. Um, sorry, just being silly. This is the white titanium Montmartre Studio Acrylic. Now you can get the Montmartre in the two litres in the US and in the UK. Um, so I'm told, well, eBay or Amazon. You definitely can get them in the US and of course they're available in Australia. Easy peasy. So I'm going to, for this particular one, completely cover my canvas in the white. I'm not going to worry about the edges at this point in time because if I faff around doing that right now you'll get really bored and leave me if you haven't already. So I'm going to just try and do my best and get this done. Um, I've decided in the new year I'm going to go to my local library in Kuroi and it's a fantastic library that we've got for a small country town. I think it's like one of the, voted as one of the best in the world, the new library. So um, there's something that's famous about it, but I'll have to find out that one. 
So I'm going to go to my local library where they do session, different sessions each week for people to learn like they do, you know, like the learning an iPhone or learning an iPad or computers. And apparently they do one on editing, editing movie, you know, putting movies on and editing them. And obviously you can see that I really need that because I don't want to bog my children, adult children down with, oh, come on, give me and show me this and show me that. I just want to try and learn myself. So I've put quite a thick coat on here. Um, it probably could be done with being an actual, I could have done made a thinner mix, but all I've done with the um, making that up is the paint. I've just added my Elmer's glue, which I have ready made the Elmer's glue at 70% Elmer's glue and about 30% water and really good shake. If it's not the right consistency when you come to make it, just alter it. You know, it's all um, trial and error. So first of all, now I don't really know, they didn't give me any colours on these, but I know they're on the website and you will see the colours. The little ones have not got the colours on and they're the ones that I really wanted to try. So I'm going to do kind of like, instead of doing a, the kookaburras, listen to them. That's the Aussie kookaburra. Sounds so cool. Normally with the bloom technique, I'm not too worried about being a bit slap happy with it because it'll all work out. <laughs> okay guys, yes, yes. They come every morning to um, see what we've got if we've left anything out for them. We are not supposed to feed the wildlife here in Australia. We're supposed to, you know, this, otherwise it teaches them bad habits and doesn't make them very good hunters. But sometimes, ah. <laughs> I'm not gonna get through this video, am I? <laughs> okay, they're gonna really play up. Um, so I know that colour that I just used, oh I don't because it's this one, so sorry, Anthony and Di on the website where these are all these colours are all loaded, they'll obviously be able to point you in the right direction. They're good, very good like that, that's what I love about these uh, family, this family run business because they're always willing to go the extra mile even before I was, you know, um, telling all my followers about them they always did their best for me and and they do now if there's something that I'll oh can you find me this can you do they will go the extra mile so they've done that with the clock um, mechanisms getting me that well getting all of us those okay so this was oh I have got this one Banksia orange so I don't want to add too many colours to this one I have. And I've put them in cups instead of squirting them directly from the bottle because I just find that I can be in better control of them. And that control is no control, as you see, because I'm random. But anyway. Anywho, just try, give it a go. So this is a very delicious kind of metallic, dusty pink, which is lovely and I think it'll look really nice with those colours um, and I'm only going to add oh I just love 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 this native violet purple it is so rich and gorgeous can I just add little dribbles because it really does but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add so this is ideas of getting kind of the bloom technique out of a bigger canvas. So what I'm going to do, and now this is the Mulga Parrot Green. So this is just what I'm going to do to get, kind of test the techniques. Okay, I'm going to do the, the traditional bloom type thing where you blow, except I'm not going to use my lower 
my mouth. I'm going to use the tool. I'm going to use my little um, air airbrush blower, which is just a, just blowing air compressor thingy, duva, whatever you call them. Add a bit of that nice purple to that too. Probably gone over to over to the top again, again. Just add this gorgeous like an extreme sheen kind of turquoise it's beautiful I think that'll be enough I'm gonna add uh, some of the actual um, white on top of this that they're, they're white but I want to use where we go now okay um, I'm using I made a mixer this was my studio acrylic from Montmartre and Floetrol for whatever reason Floetrol gives you a completely different kind of um, cell it gives you like the lacing when you mix it up this way so I'm going to just add that across the top Okay, I'm going to add to this one. Look, this is like, see, I'm the crazy mad artist that, you, if you're a messy artist, you'll appreciate me. If you're a um, OCD, then you will cringe. So this is the black done in the same way. I mixed um, their black from the boom gel and I mixed it with Floetrol. So I just... It's just kind of all tests in there, isn't there really? I'm not going to put it on the middle one, I'll just put it there so we can see what happens. And from what I've done from experiments, you seem to have to have quite a nice um, thick base underneath for all this paint to float on. So I'm going to just, just, just pour a little bit of the white along here. I'm not going to pour any more on top it's just to give it somewhere to blow to okay I'm using my little air compressor uh, this little I got it off eBay um, and apparently people are looking and saying it's not there any longer um, my the online supplier can get you one of these they are about um, $70 I believe seventy or eighty dollars, but the thing is, they—I um, mean, they'll just go on and on and on, like the Titanic. It goes on and on and on. There you go, my little moo. My little moo just had its little. So all I use this for, I mean, they use it basically of it, you know put paint in there for spray painting or even uh, spray tanning I believe you can buy the guns that do spray tanning or nails because all I'm using it for oh I always get it wrong is the is the air which you can control from a thing on the compressor so I've just got it on low so Let's get going. I don't rabble on anymore. I'm just going to do what you would do if you were. Ooh, look at that. See? Look at that. OMG. See, the bloom technique with no messing and fiddling about. But I can already see that my black is not working as well as I would have liked. So, you can have fun and games with these guns because I think I've told you before when I first did it, I ended up with paint from head to toe, should I say. I won't say what I was gonna say, but head to toe. And it was on the ceiling, it was on the floor, it was everywhere because I didn't know how to turn the pressure down. My son had to do it for me. Once he showed me, I've never changed it since. So look at that. That definitely comes out with the bloom 
technique, the bloom cells or bloom thingy magic. Uh, that's all good. So what I'm going to try now is I'm going to try blowing this centre out. Don't really want to. Okay, I'm going to try it the last bit with a bit of Floetrol over the top and the white, titanium white from Montmartre. See if that's what's activating these cells in this. I've got a little blue, bloomy thing happening. Um, okay. Oh, shite. Shikes, shikes, shikes. Calm your farm, Jill. Just slow it down. That's it. Just go with the flow. Just roll with it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Remember, I'm doing this not to be worrying about the composition. Now it's all standing. I'm doing it to try the different techniques. So you could, that probably would look nice. In, in a whirl through your work because the colours are beautiful. So, now to the lovely lady that told me about she gets dizzy when she's blowing, with you know, not that I wanted to know about personal life, but I, she, I get exactly the same. And, um, but she made me absolutely raw laughing when she told me that she blue and a false teeth ended up in a paint I can't relate to that just yet because I haven't got false teeth thankfully but oh my god that gives me such a good belly laugh because I just envisage these false teeth floating in the paint so okay this is with the black on top as a cell activator again probably doesn't work Oh yeah, it is. I think I need to have like a really nice thick bed of the white underneath. A lot of people are using house paints, but and I have used, I have tried that, but I found that they cracked. Um, but I believe that the bloom technique that's out there that everyone's doing is using house paint, but I just didn't have any luck with it. So pretty crazy, hey? So those are the boom gel stains. Um, as you see, different, that was blowing out. That was the um, kind of down the middle negative space. I mean, you can let me know what you think um, because they still come out very pretty, but I'm gonna end it there because this will be too long. And you know what I might do? I might give the whole lot a swipe just to see how I can oh, I hopefully improve it or not. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done so, please do so. You help me and it's very much appreciated and it's free to you. So thank you guys until next time and my next Art Lab experiment. Okay, part two. Excuse the noise from my my curtain. I've got a curtain stopping the flies coming in. Uh, one of those like um, plasticky curtains on my art room, and it's flapping around in the wind. I've tied it up, and it's blown back down. So I've I, I've run some more of the dusty pink and the green over it. I'm going to use the purple, and I'm going to swipe the lot. It might be a disaster. It might be a masterpiece. Who knows until you've tried. So, do I really want to swipe with a plastic sleeve? Let me see if it works. So I've got a plastic sleeve, but I'm not sure. I might need something a little bit firmer because this paint is quite heavy bodied. Okay, give it a go. Plastic sheet, I'll let the plastic sheet drop into it. Good centimetre. Probably gonna stuff the whole lot up, but you know, I've just got to try and I might 
Embellish it with the balloon. Balloon saves everything. Good old balloons. Okay. Keep going. Keep it quiet. Mouth shut, Jelly. Well, that didn't work too well there. Take it down from the top again. Ooh, I can see some cells coming up over there. Oh, look really cute. Look at these. Oh, my goodness. I might just try and go back a little bit with that one just to take some of that off if you do there we okay nothing stunning oh these are coming up pretty cool just Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, I'll just try the heat. I haven't added heat to the first one I did. See how it goes. Easy busy, let's get busy. Oh my goodness. Look at some of those popping up. Wow. Cool, cool, cool. Too cool for school. Okay, next idea. Okay, balloon, water balloon. Try me water balloony thing. Okay, I've got this old scrubby water. I'll just, it's an ordinary balloon. I just put a little bit of water in. It gives you good weight to it. So, try me balloony thing. Oh, very pretty in that dark purple. Look at that. This could definitely be the... Is it the flower garden? What is the purple little flowers? I can't think. Um, oh, somebody tell me. Yeah, I'm sure you're screaming it down the video while you're watching me, saying, because you know what they are and I don't. Oh, look at how they are coming up through that. Like some of the blues coming through. Obviously, if the paint was a little bit drier as well. Oh my goodness. Look at that. A little bit drier and it always works that little bit better because it's not falling in on itself. But then if you like the look. Oh my goodness. That is so... Gorgeous, it really is. <laughs> My dog's looking up at me. What's she talking about now? Not talking about you. You are gorgeous, puppy, but. Oh! Are you saying to me, stop, Jill, don't go any further? So, what I could do now with any leftovers, you could like just balloon, you know, I would tell you to finger pop. Or you could balloon pop the side so you've got a mixture of your colours in there to finish off your edges of your canvas. If you've already covered the edges then obviously you don't need to worry about it. It's just another way of getting the mix of the colours over your edges. So, oh, woo wee. I think I'll have to do this video in two, won't I? Because it's just too long. And I rabble on so much. Sorry. Just turn me on mute, people that don't like the banter that I carry on with. But thank you guys so much. I hit 20,000 on my uh, YouTube channel. And I mean, I know it's, you know, it's no big deal or anything to all these young YouTubers or other artists out there on YouTube have got over 100,000 and but you know I'm just plodding along and trying my best and just having you guys subscribing to my channel and watching is 
it's a real delight. I'm so happy about it to, to have that. I'm semi retired, so it's just a nice pastime. Oh, wow, we. I'm not going to do any more up here because this just looks so divine. I kind of like these to be a little bit more defined, but they're just so whimsical and absolutely that is stunning i love it i know that every, it won't be for everybody but i love it i'm so happy with that it is gorgeous the colors pop 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 okay i'm gonna let you go guys thank you for subscribing if you haven't please do um and join me next time on my wonderful wonderful art journey i'll post some pictures at the end of this but this is fandably fandabulous look at the fairies orbs in there yes oh special thank you